OK. We need to ask our next artist on stage, please. Wasn't oh, that beautiful, Francis? Yeah. Beautiful. Don't see her tonight. Um, would you please welcome our next artist on stage? We're not going to play music because we want to end on music. See, suddenly when there's a camera around, I start looking at it and talking to it. Sorry about that uh, for people here. Uh, can we ask Kioma to come up and join us, please? Yes, yeah. uh, Kioma. Please join us. Welcome. Okay. Chris and Kat. Yes. And I'll just, um, would you like a drink? Sure. Uh, sure. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it going to be that sort of chat, is it, Chris? <laughs> yes. Fine. I can deal with it. We had Ezra Furman on here a couple of years ago, and he was weird. So you're going to be OK. Kat, Who would was you, weird? Would you, well, he was just like. Who was weird? Ezra Furman. Oh, yeah. Brilliant singer songwriter. Mm -hmm. And he's dressing like a woman. Yes. Well, he came, he said, and I don't notice yeah. those things. And he came on and he said, I said, are you all right? He said, no, I'm, uh, you're fucking weird, he said to me. I said, am I? That's quite all right to be weird, isn't it? And he said, no, you're just, I don't like you. And you're really weird. And then he played his song. And I thought, hang on, you're wearing heels, fishnet stockings, and a skirt, and lipstick, and I'm weird? Well, that's, that's not weird. But I mean, and then we got on really well. There you go. So, because we talked about the music. Did yeah, you so go out later? Pardon? Did you go out later? Of course we did. Down yeah, the Reaper Barn, we did a little show with my heels and my fishnets. All right. <laughs> Kat, would you like a drink from the uh, delicious uh, Can, you, delicious make a, can you make a gin tonic? Yeah. There gin you tonic. go. It's a OK, good. It's right, got then. two ingredients. Here is the debut albums. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> beautiful. Kioma. And now the debut EP, which came out in 2015, was called Kioma. Yeah. And then another one, the album, is called Kioma. Yeah. Have you sort of run out of ideas? <laughs> uh, I think the name is so, so weird. So people are having problem Googling it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So I thought another album title would make it even worse. Ah, because it is difficult when you go to do the research, of course, because this Scandinavian O, I yeah. haven't got it on my yeah. keyboard. Especially if, you, if you're not using Mac. It's Mac is super also. hard to do this Danish O. Is that, is that yeah, not so a good idea. It's too late to think about that now, isn't yeah. it? Really? All our yeah. fans are Mac users. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> there are other computers available, <laughs> I'm legally obliged to say. Now, Kat, you're Australian, though you can't hear it. No, I've been here too long. OK, you can't yeah. hear it. And Chris, uh, you're from Cologne. Now, if, in case you don't know, we'll just get to know them very, very quickly. You met in 2011 after I'm not telling you anything you don't know, of course. <laughs> I'm just telling our friends. Um, you met after a concert that you were doing gigs. Yeah. And then Chris came along. Uh-huh. And then what happened? Uh, and then uh, we sort of hung out on the lawn out the front of this venue. And uh, we sort of had a bet with each other about who, so who wrote the saddest songs. Ah. So we had kind of a sad song battle. And then we became friends. And who won the battle of the sad songs? I'd, I'd rather not say. You'd rather not say? Yeah. <laughs> he won it, didn't he? So yeah, it's so sad all the time, I can tell. I was like, have a drink if you're sad all the time. Uh, we have to work later, we no, have a I show. Know. I know. Now, of course, we also know, I also know that Kioma is a... What are you two laughing about? <laughs> they're questioning my work ethic. Are they? Yeah. I think they're just drinking too much of the free beer. It That's what's be, happening with be. them. So your music is very, I mean, sort of cinematic and, and very beautiful to listen to in like, headphones. It's actually one of those things that you want to listen to as opposed to being out there. You know, put your headphones on. I mean, I do that a lot. And in a car, driving late at night. That was intentional, was it, to make this cinematic? Uh, yes, I think we came from a background where we just make guitar music and uh, we just wanted to make music that fits to f movies, I guess. And uh, we tried to make it as cinematic as possible. And the name Kioma actually does come from a movie, doesn't yeah, it? It's a spaghetti like a, western. Yeah, it's a trashy um, western movie from the 70s. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. Yeah. And um, now, Kat, you write the music, apparently. Yeah, I produce the music. Is it Beck Pre who writes the music? Beck writes the music. Beck <laughs> writes the music. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, I've been crying a lot recently and doing research, and an Uber's been my assistant. So what do you expect? I do apologise, because I think you live separately, don't you? You live in Cologne? Uh, I did, but... Um, Move together now. I'm, no, no. kind of. Well, I moved uh, to Berlin. To Berlin, where Kat yeah. is. Because before, yeah. you used to send stuff online yeah, to each we, other. Yeah, we, uh, we used, like, Dropbox and all that stuff yeah. to, to get things done. 
And uh, does that work, not being organically in the same space? Well, we, well, we meet time after time, like every month. We meet, uh, we meet at the weekend and record the song and catch, catch home, but most of the time it was online. Okay. Now, John's telling me over there that we, you can't keep talking forever because apparently I've right. run out of time. But I want to ask you a very important question which Uber gave to me. Is um, it left field? Pardon? Is it left it's field? It's a bit left field. Whatever made you want to try and represent Germany in this year's Eurovision <laughs> Song Contest in front of 200 million viewers worldwide? Um, well, there's things I can say, but I'll probably get sued. Right. Like, there are some artists in the... You know what Schlager is? Well, you, <laughs> you mentioned that, like, in the 90s, all people were doing drugs, and now we're all boring. Go to the Schlager business. Really? Yeah. That's why they make that sort of music, isn't Ooh. it? Ah. So the Schlagers are all rock and roll people? Yeah. Johnny, why didn't you tell me that before? Let's go to a Schlager gig. <laughs> right. Yeah. I see, but I didn't mean Should that. Should have seen the bathroom. Should I? <laughs> I will. I look forward to it. But, uh, OK, look, are you going to be touring um, the album? Are you going to be going over to Germany, or have you finished? Because my uh, research seems to be left field today. Well, we're going in January. Yeah. Yeah. January. Yeah. Again. Can, I, can I just say something? I really like Declan McKenna. He's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> He's cool. I think the second song is going to be a huge hit, it, if it's not already. I think it's an older one, I think, but I'm, my research is all wrong yeah. today. Yeah, so I loved it. It's just amazing. This is the Reaper Barn review, I know that much. So we're, we're okay with that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, you're, playing, you're playing the Imperial Theatre. Imperial Theatre. Sorry, my teeth started falling out then. <laughs> the Imperial Theatre tonight at 25 past eight. So we better get a move on, really. 25 past eight? Uh, Didn't no one tell you? Uh, really? I think it's more like no. 9, 20. Oh my God! Eight no. twenty-five tonight. That can't be right. No, it's more like. I thought it was twenty-one twenty. Oh no! Is it twenty twenty? Yeah, the day no. Right. Is it twenty-one twenty? Is it? Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Right. Yeah. So I think this is this is our time for Friday. We also play at Friday. Friday. Yeah. At and the Imperial the Theatre as well. No, we play at the Nordspeicher. Okay. So the, all of the people who came here for the first time today think, my God, he knows nothing, that guy. <laughs> Got no research, doesn't know when anyone's played. But now we do. Thank you for clearing that up. And let's do the best thing about this show, listen to some of your beautiful music. Thank you so Thanks much. For Thank, you so Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> this is Kioma, ladies and gentlemen. blood on my hands judgment on every corner what have I done I took you by the way and brought you so far down and the pines are swinging like hanging men and the pines are swinging and the trees are dancing like dancing men And the trees are dancing I will walk with the damn I will drag an ass In the shadows of desire The devil will be dancing You are so very young I was under your bed And just over your shoulder And breathing down your neck And the pines are swinging like hanging men And the pines are swinging and the trees are dancing like dancing men And the trees are dancing And the vines are swinging like hanging men And the vines are swinging And 
Thank you so much. And this is the debut album, Pioma, which we just have to say a very thank you to all of the artists for coming this evening. Thank you to all of them. And thank you to Robert for being my nurse. And thank you for you lovely ladies, Claudia and Miriam. We've got a, a Kioma album and a boy t-shirt. And I just wanted to ask you, this is not a personal question, because I've ruined your night for you, would you both like to come any other day of the week? I would love to come tomorrow again. Come tomorrow again? Yeah. We'll speak with Johnny because tomorrow we get very popular and the queue goes very far. So we'll speak to Johnny and we'll get you in tomorrow, OK? Wow. Miriam and uh, Claudia, thank you so much for helping us. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, my Lord. Thank you. Tomorrow we will have... Tomorrow we will have Lola Marsh, Lawrence Taylor, Will Joseph Cook and Holly McVeigh. All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for coming out tonight. Enjoy the Reaper Barn Festival and we'll be here all week. Please come back and see us again. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>